Well, the Bank of Canada is holding its key interest rate steady for the sixth consecutive time. So that means it remains at 5%, where it's been since July. Inflation has been falling, but the bank says it wants to see sustained slowing. So Tiff Macklem was asked directly today, is a rate cut a possibility in June? Here's how he answered. Um, yes, it's within the realm of possibilities. Um, look, I, I think we've been pretty clear. It, we, ha we are encouraged by what we've seen since January. If you look at our indicators, they're not all progressing at the same speed, but they, they're all, they've all been moving in the right direction. Some big size there. This is a great moment to bring in senior business reporter Peter Armstrong. Peter, uh, this feels like the closest uh, Macklem has come to, to cutting rates, but it, it, in terms of the tone and the content of what he just said, what did you make? Look, you can sense just how reluctant he was to get pinned down. He spent his whole statement trying to be as vague as he could about the specifics of the actual timeline. But Adrian, as he points out, that's getting harder and harder, right? The bank has been really clear about what they needed to see before they could even start talking about rate cuts on inflation, on GDP, on jobs numbers. And another quote that he had today was, we are seeing what we needed to see. We need to see it for longer. And all he did here was open the door. This is no promise, but even that opening of the door is a real, you could hear the heaving sigh of relief right across the country. Totally. What is the calculation uh, that he's making at this point? And what is the reluctance to cut rates? The reluctance is that inflation could reaccelerate, like we're seeing it happen in this morning's numbers in the United States. The other big one here is the spring housing market that's already heating up. To cut rates into that would be like adding jet fuel to it. So there's a lot of monsters under the bed right now. He just wants to buy some time, lull them to sleep, and hopefully get to cutting this summer. All right, Peter Armstrong, thank you. you bet.